Hey everybody, welcome back to the Feynman Technique. Uh, this is going to be another AI comparison video where I um, where I get one of my videos ready using um, artificial intelligence. Today we're going to be comparing ChatGPT 3.5 to Claude. Uh, Claude's been making a lot of headlines lately, uh, supposedly dethroning um, ChatGPT. We'll see. Uh, maybe for a lot of things it is better. I'm I'm still I'm always doubtful when when people make those claims because ChatGPT has proved to just be so good for so long. Um, we're going to be using uh, the free versions of both, so ChatGPT 3.5 and Claude. I believe their free free version is called Claude Sonnet, um, so that's what it's going to default to. All right. So we're going to feed it this prompt, like always, analyze the provided video generation code to demonstrate your understanding of it, and I'm not going to continue reading. Pause the video and read the prompt if you'd like. We'll, we'll uh, put it into ChatGPT first. I already have it in there. And then, of course, I have to give it some code to analyze. So we'll use uh, the code from my last published video, which is 55. Highlight it all. Copy and paste it into the chat prompt hit enter and I've done this a million times I pretty much know exactly what it's going to say it analyzed it fairly well so now I'm going to uh, take the exact same prompt that I put into chat GPT copy and paste it into Claude and let's see what it says I'll pay more attention to what Claude says since I've never used it before all right Yep, it's written in Python. It utilizes ManM. Yep, okay. Eh, I don't want to bother reading this entire thing. It looked like it looks like it did something very similar. It offered some suggestions for improvements. Let's see if uh, ChatGPT 3.5 did not do that. Let's see what it said. How it says I can improve it. Adding Doc strings or comments to explain the purpose. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll keep it the way it is, but thanks, Claude. That was sort of useful. Okay, so now the next prompt, as always, is this one. Um, I want to create more content blocks for it. I'll provide you with an explanation and equation line. From which to generate each new block and you can read the rest if you need these both and then notice the last sentence it says do you understand what i want so i don't actually want it to do anything yet uh since this was the last question asked i just wanted to, to basically answer this question all right i just want to know if it understands what i want it to do based on this prompt so we'll put it into chat gpt first Yes, it understands. It wants me to provide the explanations and equation line. All right. So I'll copy this into Claude. Yes. Great. All right. So so far they are they are neck and neck. All right. They've both done exactly what I want. Now let's see how it actually generates some code. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take all this information right here and copy and paste it into both chats. See, we, we have an explanation line. That's what I call an explanation line. It's basically just text. And then there's an equation line. And that's one content. That's one of the scrolling blocks you see in my videos. Then the next block will be this and this. And then this. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. And uh, I'll be back um, when I'm done copying and pasting it in. And we can see what kind of code it generates. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. And I have uh, copied all this information into my, uh, my chat GPT prompt. So it should generate every single block that I need um, all in one code box if it follows my instructions.
see what it does. Like it's doing a. If these blocks work, then this will have been a perfect run for ChatGPT. Okay, that was very quick. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll go over to Sublime. I'll just make a. Uh, I'll make a copy of this video basically. Um, I'll paste it into here, and I'll just rename it. Uh, this will be, I believe, um, we are working on, I forget what example this is. We'll rename it later. I believe this is example 58. Let me, let me see really. YouTube. Channel. Videos. Example 50, oh, 59 maybe, that's the one. Okay, it's a little, it's a modified version of example 59. Okay, so that's what we're calling it. Go back over to Sublime. Um, nine, save it as... Now, let's delete the content blocks that were in the original video. Copy and paste the content blocks that ChatGPT just generated. Are. Save it. We'll go over to our um, terminal here. And I'll scroll, scroll through some previous commands until I get one. This is the one. Um, let's see, this is example 59. Copy that, paste it here, and let's see if ChatGPT generated us some working code. I'll be right back. Okay. Um, as you can see, it finished compiling without any uh, without any problems. Let's go ahead and view this video. So. Here, here on sample fifty nine, and let's see what kind of video it generates. All right, that's not the integral. I have to. I still have to change the title. I'm just gonna scroll through really quick and see if everything fits on the screen. So far, yeah. Okay, so we have. This one does not fit on the screen. We're going to have to adjust that later, but I, I'll do that. I won't do that in the video. I just wanted to see if it basically generated compilable code, and it did. And we just need to just need to adjust the um, the size of the font for some of the blocks. I mean, I'm, I'm having I have a uh, I always have problems trying to get it to do it automatically. All right, but ChatGPT uh, was a success. So now let's see how Claude does. Um, let's go over to Claude. Claude's right here. First, I need the exact prompt that I fed into ChatGPT. Get a fair comparison. So this is the exact same prompt. All the exact same prompts have been used the entire time. So here you go, Claude. Let's see what you can do. Okay, so it's not doing it in a code box.
I wonder if this will be usable. don't think these are going to work, but I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt and try it. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. I'm going to delete the previous ones. Hold shift V and uh, let's see let's see if this works all right so i'll hit control save let's go over to our console and i'll just do the exact same thing i'm not expecting this to work yeah no it, it okay invalid syntax it right right away it, it just it got it wrong um now there may have been an easy way for me to fix this but as a non-programmer i want these ais to just do it right for me the first time without me having to really do much so um my purposes i'm still leaning towards chat gpt 3.5 i'm going to continue um with claude and see if i can get it to actually work. all right let's go back to claude here um and just tell it no please Generate code in a code box for me. Copy and paste. Into Yeah, it's it's not like I said I, I guess I'm still we're gonna give this a try I don't think this is gonna work Uh, let me make sure this just compiles as is without any content blocks. Yeah, it does. So now let's paste those content blocks in here. Yeah, this doesn't look good. But we're going to try it. Yeah, it just gives an invalid syntax, like, right off the bat. Um, let me make sure there's not a very easy fix. Oh. Doesn't look... I'm going to give it a chance, though. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to feed the error into it. Let's see what it can do. So starting all the way from the command that I gave it, I'll copy it back over to Claude and just paste the error directly into the chat. Seems like there's an issue with the rendering. Or Right, so, all right, so rewrite all the content box correctly. I know Claude has a very low limit on, um, 
the amount of prompts we were allowed to use per day. So hopefully I don't run out. But in, in any case, I mean, this video is pretty much over. I'm giving ChatGPT the win. Uh, so as far as I'm concerned, this is another claim by another AI company that claims to have dethroned ChatGPT, but really doesn't. At least not, not for the purposes I want to use AI for. Um, I, want, I want the AI to get it right basically the first time every time. And even ChatGPT fails at that um, a lot, but it's, it's much better than anything else currently. Um, let's see, let's see what, uh, what it does. So, uh, hmm, this is interesting. All right, let's see. You'll notice how, um, the chat GPT, um, code did not provide us with an explanation scale and an equation scale. It looks like Claude did. See those explanation scales and equation scales? Now that is a parameter that is technically in the code. ChatGPT chose not to utilize it and just go with the default. And it looks like Claude is actually trying to fit this stuff on the screen. If it manages to do that, I'm going to give it the win. Um, I don't think that's what's going to happen. Let me copy it from work, paste it, just to make sure. Yeah, if this generates working code, um, that and it also automatically adjusted the font, um, to display correctly, then that would be great. All right, so I'm going to save it. Let's see what it does. Okay. Yeah, it's it it's just there's going to I'm going to just going to get a bunch of errors probably. This thing is not it just doesn't understand how to code as well as ChatGPT does. But I'm going to I'm going to run myself out of prompts. Um I'm going to feed this error. Um I'm going to feed the error back into Claude and let's see if it can fix it. There's Claude. All right. Claude. One of the main, uh, reasons that a lot of people are claiming Claude is better is because of the larger context window, meaning it has a, a bigger memory. It will remember uh, more of our conversation and be able to take that into account. Um, and I see that th that's useful, but um, if, it, if it can't even get the stuff right the first time, um, having that larger context window, I don't know, it, it may help. Let's see if, if this produces working code. Now, now we get the, the syntax error again. So it's just going back and forth between, between various errors. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop this video and declare ChatGPT the, uh, the winner. Um, so there you go, guys. I, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope that was enlightening. So... Uh, bottom line, ChatGPT is still the uh, is still the best AI um, for for doing this for for coding basically. Um, again, I to be fair, I did not test the paid versions of both of them, but for the average user, most people want free stuff now, um, and the free version of ChatGPT is still blowing away the free version of all the other AI. There you go. Hope you enjoyed that.